Morning everybody and welcome to the video. In this video, we are gonna talk about AWS Data uh, Zone, which was announced in reInvent 2022, and now it's in preview mode. Let's take a look, a uh, let's take a look at a small definition followed by a nice, amazing hands-on lab. So let's get started. So I'm gonna share my screen. Again, you can come and read the theory part. Um, I'm more interested in the practical aspects. I'm gonna show the lab, okay? So I'm, but I'm gonna read this one sentence. AWS Data Zone is a new data management service that makes it easier for data producer to manage and govern access to the data and enables data consumer to discover, use, collaborate on the data to drive business insight. So in a simple language, if I had to describe this, it's a portal where you can search for various data catalogs, you can request for access. It makes the entire process much more easier. So let's take a look at a hands-on lab with AWS Data Zone. So I'm on the data, data zone and I'm gonna click on create domain. Here you can give your company name. I'm just gonna give corporate for now and then gonna come all the way on the bottom section and click on create domain. Now, this will take any, any anywhere between about five to 10 minutes. Once this is ready, we'll have a URL and we'll visit the portal and then we'll basically create a project for a producer and basically we'll see how consumer and any other people can search data and then basically request access. So I'm gonna walk you over that process. So I'm gonna resume once this is in the uh, once this is created. As you can see, now it is in the available state. Let's click on the URL. Now this will basically uh, redirect me to the AW, AWS Data Zone portal. Uh, if you are watching this for the first time, again here you can come and search for assets or data assets, right? Or all your data. Uh, you know, people can search and then you can request access. So for this project, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a producer and then I'm gonna create a consumer. So let's let's get started. So browse all project, I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna say producer. This is, uh, let's say this is the this is the person who's gonna produce data. Uh, so I'm gonna write, I'm gonna give it a description. I'm gonna select the domain as corporate, the one that we have. And then basically I'm gonna click on create project. Now this will take about five to 10 minutes to set up the project. As you can see, the project is ready. And then now here you can see the UI, right? Here you have an ability to query the data directly via Athena. You have an S3 bucket. You have two glue database created for publisher and subscriber. Now, what we are gonna do is basically we're gonna write a simple ETL job to essentially create a, a table and then we're gonna publish this data on data zone so consumer can search the data and essentially subscribe to the data. So let's see that process in action. So this is the uh, S3 bucket. This is, uh, you know, the bucket is created by DataZone. And uh, what you will ob also observe uh, that DataZone created two, two glue database, the publisher and the subscriber database. We are gonna publish data to the publisher database once we are okay publishing data, once we see a glue table inside that. And then we are gonna basically, you know, publish that into the data zone and then anybody can search that tables and database and subscribe to the data. I'll show you, uh, or basically I'll walk you over the entire process. I have a very simple ETL job that reads data from some S3 bucket, uh, you know, does some transformation and at the end it creates a transaction data lake. And the important thing that you wanna note is um, the glue tables or the, the data would be there in the S3 bucket, which was created by the data zone. Okay, so I'm gonna save the job. As you can see, the job is saved. And now I'm gonna run the job. Job is in the running state. Now, what this job does is basically, again, as I said, it will essentially dump certain parquet files into the S3 bucket, which was created by uh, data zone. So once we basically see the tables in the glue database, we can query the data once we are happy, we can publish this table. So anybody can search uh, you know, these tables, they can read the metadata, et cetera, et cetera, and they can request for subscription. So they can subscribe to the data uh, and then you will get a notification. You basically click a button that says approve and then the person can essentially access data. So let's take a look at all that step. So I will resume the video once the job is complete. Uh, that means once the, some you know data is published on the S3 bucket. So I'll resume once it is complete. So my ETL job is complete and what it has done is, is has created a glue table called invoice. Let me show you. So I am basically back on my data zone and I'm gonna click on query data at this point. And uh, it will basically open Athena over here. Uh, if you observe automatically on the work group, I have sales producer and now let me show you quickly. 
Uh, here I have a table called invoice. I can click on preview table and I should be able to run an ad hoc query at this point. Sure enough works. Now I'm happy and satisfied with the data and I would like to publish this data so people can search the data and basically subscribe. So let's take a look at that process. Back on my uh, data zone portal, what I'm gonna do is basically, uh, I'm gonna click on publish data. So I'm gonna click on publish data and I'm gonna basically give it a name. Uh, give it a description, whatever you like. And then here you can select agreement, which means, you know, uh, do you want the person who's trying to access, uh, you know, uh, basically you have to approve that, right? So basically you can select all the agreement, but I'm gonna leave it all to default. I'm gonna select the database name here, the wildcard entry, which means inside the database, uh, basically bring all tables, right? Uh, draft means, uh, you know, basically uh, it is not published, so people won't be able to search that. So I'm gonna leave it on the draft and then I'm gonna publish it, okay? And uh, I'm gonna basically uh, put this on run once and then click on create or publish the job. Once this is complete, I'll show you the next step, basically what it looks like. So you will see all the metadata uh, extracted, for example, the account number, the table name, the schema, the columns, everything will be extracted. Once you're happy and satisfied, you can also add more information and then you can publish the data so people can search and subscribe to that data. So let me wait here and I'm gonna basically uh, come back once this is done, okay? So the job has been completed and uh, now when I go back to the sales producer uh, project, if you see here, uh, let me go back and if I click on publish data, here you can see I have a table called invoice, which I just showed you, right? And it's in the draft mode, which means I can review it. When I click on that, it shows me all the account number, the path and all the other information, shows me the schema. Every single thing about the data has been extracted. And of course you can add more details here um, needed, right? So now what we wanna do is basically, uh, this is in the draft mode, meaning we can, if we are happy with it, we can publish it. And once you publish it, it's in the active state, which means anybody can search and subscribe to that data. So let's basically do that particular part. I'm gonna walk you over that part quickly. So now, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm here. And now basically I'm gonna go to the publish data and I'm gonna click on this table invoice. I'm happy with it. And I'm gonna basically click on set asset to active. And if you observe now, if I go back, this should be in the active state, meaning now anybody can come and basically search that. So let me just make sure that is in the active state. And you can see it's in the published state. So on the search bar on the, on the top, now let's try to search. And here you can see I'm able to search uh, that particular one as well, right? So this means now we have successfully published our tables and anybody can search and access that data. Now let's create one more project for consumer, uh, basically who's gonna access the data, okay? So let's see that process. So now the part is of the consumer, right? So again, this is someone who's searching and ac accessing the data. So I'm gonna create a new project here. I'm gonna call consumer, let's say, let's say DS or whatever, data science, right? Um, I'm gonna select a domain. Again, this could be a, a different AWS account. Again, I'm just, you know, doing everything on the same AWS account, just to show you the, 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 the process here. Again, I'm gonna click on create project and this would take about five to 10 minutes. Once the project is created, what we are gonna do is now, the data science team is gonna search uh, from the search bar and they have discovered invoice. And now they'll basically submit a request to subscribe to the data. Once the, submit, uh, once the permission is approved, then the data science team can query the data. So we'll see all that in action now. So le let me resume the video once this is complete. Now, as you can see, it's finally ready. Now, this is the data science people who's basically trying to search for data and here they discover the invoice table and uh, they essentially read about this, they saw the schema and uh, now they are interested to get this data. So they're gonna click on subscribe. They're gonna click the project, right? And then now they're gonna s uh, submit a reason uh, for the request. I want to... So maybe they'll put some reason here and then they'll click on subscribe. Now, as soon as they click on subscribe uh, to the producer account, a notification is sent. Now they can review the request and they can, basically they can review the request and they can either approve or decline it. So let's take a look at that part. 
so now basically i can head over to the uh, this is again the producer account right and now i'm gonna go to the publish and here you can see in the subscription request they have a request here they can click on view request and they can review all the detail here is the reason why um, that person wants to access the uh, data you can click on approve now once you click on approve what happens is now the data science team uh, gets access to the database and they can now query the data using uh, Athena or whatever they want to do you know let's see if we can query the data so now again I'm back on the consumer data science account and now I'm gonna click on query data so again this is the data science team who wants to perform certain action and if you observe in the there's two database right the pub and sub so in the sub part they can see the database here okay so now they can come here they can start running queries here hopefully it should work and here you can see so this way you can use aws data so the producer can produce data the consumer can search the data request access to the data and basically collaborate in a much better way thank you for watching the video if you have any questions let me know and again this is still in the preview mode so there might be you know improvements bugs right but the, it's still in preview so again it's a really really nice i strongly encourage you to try it out uh, with that being said keep smiling keep uh, programming keep learning and i'll see you in the next video